Welcome to Jackets TV presented by Ohio Health. I'm Jeff Ermer and a pleasure to get our first visit with the newest member of the Columbus Blue Jackets family, General Manager Yarmo Kekalainen. And uh, Yarmo, first of all, welcome to the Blue Jackets organization. You must be pretty excited to get that uh, general manager's uh, position and join a hockey club like the Blue Jackets here in the NHL. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm very excited. Um, finally got here last night. Took a little bit of time to get the visa in order, but uh, couldn't be more excited to be here now. Now we're here in Detroit. Uh, you're getting an opportunity to meet a lot of the Blue Jackets uh, organization for the very first time. Uh, this is an exciting time for you and obviously getting a chance to see the hockey club live tonight against the Red Wings. Well, yeah, that's my first priority to get to know the team, everybody, everybody on it, the players, the trainers, the coaches, and, and really get familiar with everybody, uh, not just as players or professionals, but also as, as uh, people and, and teammates. Uh, I think it's important that I get that done right away and, and get to it as soon as possible. Now, the situation uh, for you, uh, obviously no stranger to the National Hockey League, former stops in, in the NHL, goes more. Most recently uh, uh, in St. Louis, pro uh, and of course following that, uh, general manager in, in Yogurt in the Finnish Elite League. Can you talk in terms of, of just how uh, you've kept in touch with the National Hockey League and, and look forward to this opportunity here? Well, it's, it was an old habit always to, to uh, you know, check into the stats and the highlights, and, and we get a, a lot of games on TV in Finland every day. Uh, the Saturday games was a routine to watch uh, the afternoon games with a seven-hour time difference. We wouldn't have to stay up too long to watch those at 10 in the evening or a noon game at 7 in the evening. And so, uh, and I have a lot of friends over here, so obviously kept in touch with them and, and, and uh, update my... Uh, knowledge and, and information on players in the league that way but uh, I, I do have a lot of stuff to learn and, and catch up with now that I'm here but um, I'm going to take a humble approach to work hard at it and uh, I'll, I'll be at work tonight for the first time and go from there. Now, John Davidson told me prior to your arrival that this is your dream job. This is what you wanted to do all the way through your, your career here in the NHL, and that is step in as a general manager. Well, my lifelong goal is to win the Stanley Cup. That, that's the thing. So I'm, I'm definitely not thinking that I'm at the end station now, having, uh, having gotten the general manager's job. But this is just a start for me. But yes, yes, it's been my goal. It's been my dream to be a general manager in the National Hockey League. Um, my dream job is to be a manager, and, and I've been doing that for the past two and a half years in Finland. This is obviously the best league in the world, the NHL. So I, I'm very excited, and, and um, you know, this is, this is going to be a great opportunity for me. But uh, um, I really look forward to working for the Blue Jackets. For our season ticket holders and, and our hockey fans back in Columbus, uh, you haven't always been in management. You were a player. Talking to Timo Solani here, he talks in terms of uh, just how dedicated you were as a player and now carrying that over as a general manager. Can you talk in terms of your hockey career? Uh, it wasn't a glorious career, but I have no regrets. I think I left, left all I had on the ice and, and into the gym and, and the, uh, the paths and running and and doing plyometrics or whatever needed to be done to become an NHL player and make a career out of it. I got 55 games and, and I just wasn't good enough to make it a longer career. But like I said, I don't have any regrets. I felt that I really worked as hard as I could to, to make a longer career out of it. But I, that, was, that was all that I had um, that I could get out of my capacity. Now, getting away from hockey, uh, I understand, and again, uh, Timo kind of filled me in here the other day, that uh, you're a fitness freak. In fact, uh, I saw witness of that this morning in the gym very early on. But talk in terms when you're away from the rink and, and perhaps uh, away from uh, watching video or whatever, uh, what you do uh, in your training regimen, because I understand you're a pretty good runner as well. I, I try to keep in good shape. I really believe that uh, the energy level comes from being in good physical, physical shape. I think that you can work better, you can work... Uh, more effective hours that way, and, uh, and it makes me feel good. But um, I got a I got a young family, two young daughters, eight, eight and six year olds. So those take a lot of my time, obviously, uh, outside of hockey, and, and and that's what I try to uh, spend my extra time with, is with them playing and watching them grow and and uh, having fun with them. Priorities now that uh, you're over on the, on this side uh, uh, of the Atlantic and uh, focused on the hockey club. What are prior priorities here over the next uh, few weeks here with the Blue Jackets? Well, like I said, I, I want to get to know the players. I want to get to know everybody around this team. That that's my first priority. Then I will be heading over to Springfield to get to know the prospects over there and uh, getting getting to know the scouting staff. Some of them I already know. Um, 
and uh, you know we're going to start approaching the draft. That's obviously a big opportunity for the club. So um, that's another thing that we're going to get hands on very soon and, and meet with the scouting staff and, and maybe maybe uh, do a little tweaking here and there. But I think that they're well on their way with their process. And, and as far as I've been studying their stuff, it's a, it's a good group of guys working hard. And so th there'll be a lot of things that we're going to be looking at. The trading deadline's coming up in, in about um, a month and a, and, a, and a little two weeks. So um, we got a lot on, on our plate, but uh, it's a good thing. I think it's, uh, it's a very exciting thing to have, have a lot of different things to, to work at. Yarmo, again, welcome to Columbus. Welcome to the Blue Jackets. And we look forward uh, to many, many great years of success with Columbus. Thank you very much. Yarmo Kekalainen joining us here, and uh, that's our one-on-one. -on -one. Thanks for joining us on Jackets TV, presented by Ohio Health.